Hello and welcome to lesson number eight. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and uh, design an intersection. Go ahead, download this file, and uh, this is from the previous one. You might have it. If you don't have it, just download the uh, file. The link is below the description on this video. If you remember, we uh, in a previous uh, example, we did this corridor, except for this one. So. The only thing difference between the one you have is just we made another corridor right here. And we'd like to make an intersection right here between these two points. Okay, so uh, uh, first thing you want to do from a home tab, move home tab, go to a view, see if I can find it myself, view panel, view tab. Once you click the view tab, and then down here, below the view tab, there is something called named view. Go up there, there is a drop down arrow, click on that one, and then hit corridor interior right there, and just look at the screen when that happened. There, it brings it right up in the front. So we went to this view, and also our, your scale might change, might not, but it goes to one inch to uh, 40 feet. In order to make it easier uh, for this layer, come up here in a layer tab right there, down bottom here where it says drop down menu, click on that. I like to uh, in here and save layer click on that and let's go to intersection there and that way it'd be easier to work with a little bit we'll come back from the home tab and go to uh, create design panel from there find the intersection click on it drop down menu click in inter create intersection and when you do that you want to find where the two alignment meets the center of these two alignment there's one alignment here and there's the other alignment and you can see there's an X right there click on that and when you do that a new window opens up you have three tabs general uh, geometry and corridor so on a general tab we want to go ahead and name this intersection I'm just going to call it you can name it anything you want I'm going to call it um, Jeff intersection and let's use the uh, intersection uh, both style and style marker uh, and a layer in the default and then down here we like to be see the primary road crown maintained make sure that's on primary road uh, pri excuse me primary road crown maintained and now you want to click next that will bring us on geometry tab right here you see in the geometry tab, you see both alignment uh, intersection uh, station, and then you see the profile are listed. And the profile can be changed here, as we can see will require by the uh, curve return, because when you look at the uh, um, profile for this two roadway, at this station for the this roadway and the station for Jeff roadway, you hope the elevation of both the is the same. So that's why you might have to change the profile so they can meet be on the same for the curve return because you have a curve coming from here going meeting the other one and you want to be have a smooth transition so up here come down here and make sure that you have check create or specify offset uh, alignment and then they have the offset perimeter and let's click on offset perimeter and you have this window opening up in here in this dialog box you can see you have the primary road both left and right side and a secondary road both left and right side up here remember we had at the beginning when we made the assembly this was a 15 feet so, so let's go ahead set the uh, primary road right there to a 15 feet and then left side also 15 feet then come down here for the uh, secondary road make that 14.75 for both left and right and let's uh, click OK I will bring us back to this panel again now we're back to the geometry tab so we did that now create curve return alignment and uh, let's click on uh, curve return perimeter and then we come to another window right here And we are at the northeastern coordinate 
So from here, in the northeastern corner, the radius is 25. Let's change the radius to uh, uh, 38.6. And click OK. We'll come back here again. Let's go back here again. I don't know why I came back here. Uh, let's change this again. Make that was a northeastern corner. Let's go to our northwestern corner. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, make this radius again to uh, uh, 38.6. and click OK or hit enter so now here to automatically create the curb return profile in this offset um, curb return and profile area we're going to select that and make sure that's checked and then we're going to select the uh, default in both of them so we're just going to go ahead and click next that will bring us back to the corridor region tab right here. In here, in this corridor region tab, we can create a new corridor or add this intersection to an existing corridor. So we want to go ahead and make sure this is checked up here. Create corridor in the intersection area and then we want to click add to an existing corridor. And then down here, let's make this to a Jeff Road, Jefferson Ranch Road. Select that one. Now, when we come here into this window, let me just open this up a little bit and see if I can. That's better. So, right here in a curb return fillet, come up here and see that three dot, click on that three dot. And that is uh, for curb return fillet. We want to go ahead and click right here. From the list, we're going to go ahead and residential curb return. OK, residential curb return. And click OK. And you can see the picture right there. Going to give you right here. So the next one line below is the primary road full section. Click on that and then you're going to click on a three dot and let's come back in here. This is for the primary road. Select the collector full which is already here and click OK. So come into the primary road section, part section, daylight left and we see this right here. If you see this then select the default and that's OK. Then for the right one, let's select the right default. That's good. That's okay. We accept that. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the secondary road full section. And we want to have a residential full, which is right there. And that's uh, if you check on it. And it says uh, make a residential full. Click OK. Then we're going to do the left side, daylight left side. And on daylight left side, it's that's it, or select a uh, residential curb half left. Click OK. Then we're going to go ahead and do the right side. Oops. OK, right side right here. Click on it, which is pretty good right there, it said. And, uh, and that's going to be right side right there. Click OK. Now we finish this and you want to save this for future so you don't have to go through all this here. Come back up here. It says the save as a set. You can click on the save as a set and save it someplace on your computer so you don't have to do this again and be all set. It's all pre-set for you. OK, so now we're done. Let's click create intersection. And you have this. Remember, we are in a view. Uh, we turn up some of the layer off, and the layer I'm going to turn it back on. So just you have this right here. If you have an event viewer up here, which I don't have it on my screen, but sometimes it comes in. 
and your event viewer go to action and from action clear hit clear all event I uh, mine didn't came up but it came up before so if you get that window coming up on the top left corner of that new window that it came up on your screen hit action and clear all event if you got it or just hit the check mark for now so let's come back up here let's restore to working layer and come up to the uh, um, up from a home tab to the layer section click on this button right there and then inner sections just make that to a working layer right there working layer okay so our intersection look like this look like we have some overlap here let's fix that okay so let's click on your uh, intersection right here see this diamond right here let's grab that and move it back a little bit to right here also let's click on this here um, and you can see a bunch of diamond tap right here this one right there is overlapping with the other one grab it and uh, move it see right this one right here grab that one and move it back this way so we have some separation right there and let's grab this one too and move it this way a little bit Oh, didn't move. That's good. Kind of move them out a little bit. Your intersection to do some of your adjustment here, and then come back to uh, um, Prospector Tool Space, and uh, from Prospector, and uh, look, you can see we have uh, uh, this uh, sign right there, and. Um, that indicates the object that are out of date. So if you go and click on it, and then right click on it, and say rebuild, and that will should take care of it. And then the intersection is the same thing right here. Right. So on this one, click on a plus, and then you find out Jeff right here. Click on it and right click, uh, update region and rebuild corridor. And continue with update. That should get rid of those. Save your file. This will be the end of the intersection.